When a 1984 Alfa Romeo Spider sports car accelerates at the maximum possible rate, its motion during the first 20 seconds is extremely well modeled by the simple equation two times the power divided by the mass times the time. And well, if we take the square root on both sides, um, we can get rid of the uh, square over here. And so we just move the square root over here. And we are given some information. So the power is 3.6 times 10 to the four watts. And the mass is 1200 kilograms. And it says, it states that the velocity is in meters per second. And we can, we can check that. And so what is, uh, so this is power. So it's uh, force times displacement divided by time. And force is mass times acceleration. So the units are kilogram meter over a second squared times meter times second. So we can do meter squared over here and seconds cubed over here. Okay. So these are the units of power. And we divide it by, to get this whole thing, uh, we'll have kilogram meter squared over second cubed divided by this mass is a kilogram, and this time is in seconds. So the kilograms go away, and this second goes away. This one becomes second squared. And then we have the one half over here. So this is divided by two, this is divided by two, and we just have meter per second. So indeed, the, uh, the units of velocity are meters per second. Okay. Part A, find an algebraic expression in terms of the power, the mass, and the time for the car's acceleration at time t. Well, that's um, fairly easy. So, we know that acceleration is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. So we just have to take the derivative. So will be x and x. The derivative with respect to time of this whole thing. 2p divided by m t. Mm, oh, it should be like this. To the 1 half. Oops. And the power is constant, the mass is constant. The only thing that is not a constant is the time. So based on the very simple rules that we saw during the lecture, uh, we can take this one outside of the derivative. So it'll be, you know, this is just a constant. So it'll be 2p over m to the 1 half derivative with respect to time of time to the one half. And the rule that we learn is that if to take the derivative, uh, you multiply times this one, and then you subtract from this one, one. So this will be one half of t to the one half minus one. 
So it will be one half of t to the minus one half, which is equal to one over two t to the one half, right? And we have two p divided by m to the one half over here. So we can just put the t inside here. It's already to the one half. And if you want to move the two inside of the square root, then uh, you square it right, in order to put it here. So it will be four to the one half equals two, like we had originally. So this is the acceleration in X. And uh, well, this goes away. This one becomes a two. And we can put it in the same form as on the um, answer. So it will be P alone divided by two MT, and then it's the square root of that. Right, this is the answer for part A. So you remember that there are uh, derivatives in the homework because I want you to be exposed to it, but there are no going to be uh, derivatives in your uh, exams or uh, in the workshop. Okay, so you don't need to know all the rules of calculus, but I want you to see how um, how it is manipulated, right? These relationships. Okay, so. I guess that was part A, so I'm going to put it over here. You could check the, the units if you want it. I'm fairly certain that they're going to be mirror per second squared. OK, so that's part A. For part B, what is the car's speed at t equals 2 seconds and t equals 10 seconds? So we have the equation for the velocity over here. So velocity at you know, in x at 2 seconds, it's going to be 2 times the power. 3.6 times 10 to the 4 watts divided by the mass, the 1,200 kilograms. And the time is 2 seconds. And that whole thing is uh, square root. So it's the 1 half. Right, so V with 2 seconds. Just get the calculator. This is one hundred and twenty square root of one hundred and twenty. Which is equal to 10.95 meters per second. So you know, approximately 11 meters per second. Which um, is the answer. And then uh, I guess I can put it over here. What about 10 meters per second? Well, then we just put a 10 in here instead of a two. So this is gonna be 20 
times 3.6 times 10 to the four divided by 1200. So it will be square root of 600. And that is 24. Point five meters per second. So similar to the 24 that they gave us as the answer for the problem. And then, uh, so that was part B. For part C, you have to evaluate the acceleration, which is exactly the same thing, but instead of using this equation, you use the acceleration equation that you derived. Um, also at two and 10 seconds. So acceleration at two seconds, it's gonna be um, power. So the 3.6 times 10 to the four watts divided by twice the mass. So I'm gonna put directly the 2,400 kilograms in there. times the time, in this case, two seconds. And the whole thing is to the one half, so square root of that. So this is, um, Square root of 7.5. This is going to be meters square second fourth, right? So if you take the square root of that, you get 2.7 meters per second squared, which is um, yep, the answer that uh, we have for that problem too. And for 10 seconds, we do the same thing, but instead of two seconds over there, we have 10 seconds. So this is gonna be um, One point five and square root of one point five is one point two. And I see that uh, over there I have negative one point two meters per second. Um, that is a mistake. This quantity is positive, this quantity is positive, this quantity is positive, so it can never be negative. Um, so that one is positive, it's 1.2 meters per second squared. So in this case, the acceleration is not constant, you know, so we will not be able to use the, the kinematic equations, the ones that we derived you know, during the lecture. So, you know, we do have to do the whole calculus. And again, um, you know, once you have taken calculus one, um, or at least half of calculus one, this is going to be very, very easy. Okay, this is this is really easy stuff. So if you don't understand it yet, do not worry about it. You know, just notice the patterns. We're just using the definitions of acceleration here. All right. Thank you very much.